Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just kind of doing a little uh, video here on uh, adjusting the uh, MFT-3 by Festool. Uh, just uh, got mine uh, last week and uh, haven't really needed to use the uh, guide rail on it and I actually need to use it today uh, when I'm uh, working on the uh, uh, vanity uh, cabinet here and uh, just uh, kind of thought I'd uh, show you how to do that. They uh, kind of went over this here in the uh, routing class that I took at uh, Festool. Uh, it's pretty simple. This is the uh, uh, miter gauge on the uh, MFT-3 here. Uh, and then this is your guide rail. Uh, if you're familiar with the Festool system, this is all old news to you. The uh, way you adjust this here is pretty easy. Uh, this is two Allen screws here. Uh, it's the same Allen that uh, you would find in your TS track saw, your HLA 850 and other stuff. I just happen to have a set of Allen wrenches here closer at hand than I had uh, either one of those. So I just went ahead and adjusted them here, or loosened them up rather, not adjusted them. And uh, now you can uh, use the play in this, but when you're doing that, you want to make sure that this V down here is free of gunk and other crap. Uh, you want to make sure this is good and tight on here and you know you can't really uh, wiggle it. You want to make sure that both your uh, guide stops here for the rail are over to their factory preset uh, position and are both up against the stops. And you want to make sure that your guide rail is sitting directly on that pin right there so there's no play in it because if it's off that you can kind of wiggle it back and forth but if you actually get it in the pin like I should there's no play to it. So now what we can do is take a square uh, you should probably use a bit better square than this one. This is a, uh, a brown and sharp, uh, just a sort of general purpose uh, square here. Um, at the In the class that I took, they had some really fancy ones that were accurate to a couple thousandths of an inch. This is, you know, good enough for my uh, work here. And you can just take it and uh, you can bump this back and forth. And you can sort of see the screws move there. And just align it until it's good with the square. Crank it down here with your Allens. And then this is also uh, a tapered fit for the, the, uh, the automatic uh, stop here, so you want to make sure that is good and tight down there. And then just tighten it up and you're good to go. So that's pretty much, I think, all the setup there is to an MFT3 here. Um, I'm going to do some more uh, videos. As you can see, there are the parts to the uh, cabinet uh, here, and uh, I'm just kind of putting that together this afternoon, but uh, I wanted to kind of do a little uh, quickie video on that because um, if I had not uh, seen that in the class, that might have been kind of a pain in the butt to figure out, but hope that out there kind of helps somebody and, and say stay tuned, uh, I'm going to get this uh, cabinet video put together here.